Okay. Hey guys, I think we should install Linux Mint per request of R Zimmer One. And my lips are totally not moving right now. Oh well, great Pedo Bear, I think you're right on that. So go ahead and uh, help children go safely home. <laughs> um, yes. Pedal Bear was right. I am installing Linux Mint for Arzimmer One. That uh, per his request, he was the laptop winner um, for my new Linux channel, Nixie Does Linux. So make sure to check that out. Uh, and if you're on YouTube, well, I'll be uploading this, and you'll we won't have to really have this conversation because you'll already be on the channel. Socially awkwardness. Okay. So anyway, this is the laptop. And it's attached to a laptop cooler, so hang on one sec now. Alrighty. This is what it will hopefully look like after I get done successfully installing it. So, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll break it over my knee. Uh, that will be a good start for this uh, Linux installation. So the very first thing that we want to do when we are installing a distribution is we want to get the image file or the ISO file and uh, we can do that by going onto the website and of course you know that's boring getting the ISO and burning it to the uh, DVD is you know kinda takes a little bit of time so I went ahead and did that for you I use infra recorder to uh, burn my ISOs and make my image discs and I have one here for you guys I'm going to power it down and I'm just going to format the partitions and I'll talk to you guys about how getting uh, how to get the partitions kind of in the um, in the right format you know size wise and the swap file and the root uh, you know root directory and all that good stuff so <clears throat> Don't give me grief, I'm trying to shut you down. Party foul. Yes. Alright. So, presumably, you've used Infra Recorder or something. What are your, your guys' favorite uh, image burn CDs? I gotta write down this momentous event for our Zimmer permanent marker. Yeah, inf Infra Recorder, it's not too easy to pronounce, but it's super easy to use. Uh, okay. So I think it's Linux Mint 10, right? That's uh, the newest version. So I will write it down for you guys. <sighs> Julia, it's always nice to be able to have a woman on just, you know, a compact disc here. <laughs> that makes it easy. So, Mint. And, Arzimmer, I'm going to ask you about your username for your computer and stuff when we get to that point. Um, so, stay tuned, Mr. Winner. Okay, so, if you did it right, your image disc will boot up the installation process of your distribution. In this case, it's Mint. So I'll put that sucker in there. <clears throat> yeah, I was going to uh, format. Yeah, if I didn't do it right, then it won't. And then I'll have to format the disk in GParted and start all over again. <laughs> I'm not using USB because uh, I just think that the DVD is just easier. And um, basically how I go about, you know, learning all, all that I have so far is basically uh, go and, and go into the forums and ask questions and go through the man pages and try to make, you know, a better tutorial than the one before it. So by all means, please make a better tutorial than this in installation. And that will kind of be like the open source initiative of tutorial making, right? Yeah, DVDs are cheap now also. I still feel like I'm sounding like Joan Rivers, but I'll... Yeah. 
And I think it just stays on that page for a while, so I'll just uh, talk with you. I guess I'll be like Chris Perillo and upload this to YouTube, even though it's like an hour long. <laughs> Not to say Chris Perillo's a bad guy, but you know, you gotta remain entertaining for an hour, and what exactly are you gonna do? Like handstands or. Do you guys like Chris Perillo? I liked him on Tech TV. I'm a huge fan of Leo Laporte, actually. I caught, I, I found that he was on the radio now, and I was super proud of him because, um, top secret information, I'll tell you guys. Um, basically, when I went to CES last year, we met each other at this, um, this event called It Won't Stay in Vegas. It was like a blogger party. And as we were leaving, I was like, oh, Leo, I'm so sorry that you left, uh, you know, uh, you left Tech TV and Tech TV got shut down, you know, fuck G4. And Leo looked me like dead in the eyes and he was like, yeah, fuck G4. And I was like, this is a pretty cool cat. All right. So basically, when you want to install Linux Mint, you need to have at least 2.6 of uh, drive space and you have to be plugged into a power source because you don't want your uh, laptop to die on you and uh, preferably be connected to the internet, which we'll figure out later. Uh, and we had Mephiston suggested that I try a tutorial on Spanish, but I don't think, uh, I don't think my sixth grade Spanish teacher with all that she taught me would really, uh, appreciate my lack of, of Espanol prowess. Okay, so I'm specifying partitions manually. And does this look familiar to you guys? So it's not a huge hard drive, and if uh, that's what she said, but it will do the trick. And ext4 is what we're going for now. Uh, before, I mean, they've recently started ext4, so that's kind of cool. Um, or I guess recently, uh, as of the last six months, but I haven't really been uh, doing installs that recently. All right, so let's start out with the first partition. And what you want to do for your root directory, your root uh, has your uh, your system settings and your, your programs and uh, all that good stuff. So I would say no more than 15 gigs. And as you can see here, it, it does the, uh, oops, sorry, I have to stretch it. 15 gigabytes here, uh, and you have to kind of break it down and into the comma kind of deal. And um, we'll use it for ext4 because it seems to be good so far. And we'll go ahead and format the partition. Obviously, you want to make sure you have all your data um, saved uh, when you do the home directory. But this is going to be root. And root is a forward slash, which I'm sure you guys knew. And all right, so it's going to take a little bit. And then, then I just use the rest of the uh, the hard drive. So you have, uh, you know, no more than 15 gig for the root directory. And then I just go ahead and. Uh, allocate the uh, home directory which has all your data and all that jazz as the rest of your drive so if you have you know um, 80 gigs it'll be 80 gigs instead of uh, the 40 that I have here so don't worry our Zimmer our winner I will ask you your questions on your um, your user here in a bit so your mount point is going to be home, home, home on the range, I need to, here, let me see. I like to do a swap file. I know it's optional, but you know, you're only spending like, uh, they say two times your RAM. So you're only spending that much and that's not too much, especially if you're just using a little laptop. So, all right, so here we go. And the swap file.
the swap area, and that's uh, basically what swaps it in and out of memory. I could get the installer, but I like to, you know, take a little bit of time. <laughs> that's why this this uh, was going to be a two-hour show, but I might have to dip out a little early so I can uh, so I can run some errands because I have to send my mom a gift back, you know, for Merry Christmas, Hana Kwanzaa. So that's just the swap area, and it's like uh, two times your RAM, so there's a gig of RAM, I just did uh, two gigs, 2.5 gigs. Alright, and then we're just doing install. And it should ask me about the computer, but I think I get to turn around and chat with you guys for a little bit. Oh, not yet. So where are you, R. Zimmer? I'm going to select your uh, your area. Your area. Select your area. Ohio. So you're in the Midwest. Oh, I can type it. Cool. Where's your closest city? Well, the closest city of our Easter? Oh, Canton. Canton, Ohio. All right. Maybe a bigger city. Columbus? <laughs> Let's do Columbus. Ah! One-handed, man, I tell you. I does not recognize. Oh, you're in the Eastern time zone. Right on. I think I put, I think that's what we got when I typed Columbus. Yeah, it found you. And it just decided to stick you in New York. Oh, well. <laughs> because every other place is insignificant. Hang on, I will I am be able to answer questions in just a second. I'm sorry, guys. And so I assume you don't have an awesome Dvorak uh, keyboard or anything like that, so I will just use a normal keyboard. You're not going to plug in a keyboard that's fancy, are you? Probably not. All right. So we'll just do USA keyboard. And all the while we're setting this up, it's copying the files. And my arm is getting tired. Pedal bears like whoopsie. All right, here's the fun part, our Zimmer. Here's the fun part, our Zimmer. What? So we'll put. Would you like your name to to be Wayne? And your computer name to be our Zimmer. Or? So he wants his computer name to be Zedicus. What is Zedicus? What does that mean? <laughs> I would totally pay somebody to uh, <laughs> hold this camera, man. Yeah, what is Zedicus? Oh, it's a wizard? Cool. Zedicus the wizard. So then you just type in your information as pertinent. Alright, and we'll do your name and so your username, you want your username to be Zedicus and your computer name to be R. Zimmer or? D&D &D fan. Yeah, baby. 